the video. There's a new update in Eclipse, so let's check it out. Over here on the board, we have a few new updates from the 8th and the 7th. So, on July 8th, they added that guns, wars, and artilleries can now pass through blueprints. Artillery shells can still damage blueprints the same way they damage shields. So, that means that if you build like a reservoir, an artillery shield, shell uh, shoots onto it, then it will reduce in health. And the health is determined by how much iridium is currently in the reservoir. Now, if it's empty, I'm assuming that means that an artillery shell will shoot through it onto, let's say, a bridge in a sky base. So that's really interesting. That means boars will just shoot directly through, too. Regardless, I, I'm not understanding if that means it will be, let's say, a boar is uh, shooting a reservoir tank with um, power in it, or iridium in it, so I'm not sure if that means it's going to shoot directly through or it's going to kill it like it has before, and then attack the bridge, so we'll have to figure that out, and that means guns will just shoot through blueprints as well, they won't, they won't kill it like it has before, so I'm curious how that will do with, um, how people place blueprints so that beacons will shoot them down, so that means players can't destroy them anymore, which is interesting. I wonder how that will play in a role when it comes to people trying to prevent you from, like, let's say, building in pumps. Now, defense turns now have constant rhythm consumption and spin around funnily when powered by idling. Now, our current arc turns consume 3 rhythm per second, turns consume 4, point defenses consume 10. Refactured the way that turn motors work. Okay. Gates now require power to open and close, and now they have an upgrade to pass a defended pipe through them. Costs 30 radium to upgrade. Fixed turns not seeing slash shooting through blueprints. Okay. Alright, so there's a lot to take in here. So, obviously we have the, the nerf against uh, most common defenses. And now, there's one more I wanted to take a look at. Yeah, here we go. Added a second output pipe on the Zerber that allows the radium to flow to when spotting an enemy. So, what you can do is you can take an observer from what it sounds like, pipe it in, and then have an output go to defenses. That way you're not dealing with the idle consumption. So it seems like it'll overly complicate the process of all that. So, I guess we'll start to check that out. And looks like there's some more updates about other stuff. Alright, let's check it out back I have a little like tiny base going on I'm gonna check everything out so first thing I notice that there is a pipe missing from here there's usually a pipe here so I can guarantee that it is possible to open and close it without power that is new just like the thing said so it looks like if I press V it will upgrade now interesting now I have a pipe on both sides so it's theoretically a protected pipe now let's say if I want to that's what it says anyway. So if I want to do this, and go like this, and go like this. And now it goes through. Interesting. So that's new. I'm assuming if I break it. Yeah, disconnects. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Um on this side, as we can see, it's kinda rotated already, but um if it's on, then it rotates a little. I've learned that. And I was trying to see if it would tell me, like, the, the amount it takes when it's, like, idle. And it isn't really saying, though it does show me the fire rate when it is active, which is 12 shots per second. And each shot, does it say how much shot? It doesn't say how much shot. Oh, yeah, shot is four. So it's very expensive to run it. Okay, now let's turn this off, because it's using a lot. Um, actually, 10. It's using 10. I believe this one's 3. I don't think it'll tell me, though. Alright, yeah, it's not going to tell me. So, 2 shots per second, and a shot cost is 15. 30 shots. Dang, expensive. Now, the next one, what's this one? 4 shots per second for a shot cost of 6. That's 24, and it spins as well. Okay. Now, what I've seen on this one, I don't have an enemy to test it on. But for what I understand is it will, assuming this is on, it's active, and it takes about 4.8 when it's active. Now, another idle for two, but what you can do is, let's say, assuming that 
uh, there's an enemy nearby, you can have it run into this. So that way you're not uh, spinning your, uh, oh, let's open it. See, it's not moving right now, but let's say, assuming it was active, it was converting through and uh, it would look like this kind of, but there'd be also be a server. And now it's spinning, assuming that there is an enemy nearby and it's gonna work for all of these. Now, another thing I was curious about, let's test it. So we need an arsenal. So, need an arsenal. So I'm gonna test this. Now, if I do this, oh, I need some storage, shall I? Okay, I'm gonna turn that on. And, let's see, I'll grab an SMG, I'm gonna take a tank. Let's do a small tank. I'm gonna standard tank. And I'm gonna try to shoot at it. Oh, damn, too late. Okay, I'm gonna take a tank and shoot at it. Okay. Um, let's go farther up. And now if I put a tank here. Oh. Okay. I'll go further up then. Um, or just let it build. Okay. Just gonna let it build and then destroy it. Just like this. Now if I build a tank out here. Yeah. As I expected, shots go through. So enemy won't be able to destroy that. Unless you have a laser drill, I'm assuming. Will that work? Hold on. You have a laser drill. So I'm gonna use this tank right here. Go like this. Boom, boom, boom. Use that. Hmm. Tanks still level out, okay. So, I need to do this, and that didn't work, okay. Um, okay, so now that I have a laser drill, I'm gonna come over here and see if I can destroy it. Hmm. The laser drill, that's really interesting. So, blueprints cannot be destroyed by other teams now from the sounds of it. Now, if I do an artillery shell, Let's try that. Let's see what happens there. From what I'm assuming is it's not going to work either. If you build an... Um, yeah. I have to do this. So, bring this out here, and if you have four caps on it, it will work without a tank. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm gonna go over here and see if I can destroy it. Gotta wait for this to finish building. Boom. There we go. And then if I aim... Okay, that was way, 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 way too far. Okay, we're gonna go like this. That'll probably do it right there. Mm. Yeah, that'll probably get it. Okay. So artillery shells do destroy blueprints. Now if I build a boar, hold on. Okay, so while my boar is still building, I did realize this. I put a gauge right here, this is a closed circuit, so that only this is part of the circuit connected to the point defense. Now what I realize is this is negative 10 iridium per second, so that way we can do, we can verify that this is using 10 iridium per second. Let me turn this off. Now, that means that it is true that if you have it just running, it is going to take 10 iridium per second, which is, keep in mind, two-thirds of this pump. So that is a lot of iridium, especially when you're going early game. And I'll get into more of that later. So while we wait for that boar, give me one second. Okay, now that the boar is built, I have three tests I'm going to test. I have this one, it's a fully built tank with a ladder behind it. Then I have one that is half full um, with a, t a ladder behind it. And I have one that is completely empty with the ladder behind it. I'm gonna test how the boar works. I'm trying to figure out how the mechanics of this and how it works. So let's zoom it. Zoom it here. So what it looks like is this gets unharmed. This gets damaged. Okay. So if it is empty, blueprint is empty, it will sh hurt the things that are behind it. Now let's go to this one. What's the scenario on this one? 
Okay, the tank does not get damaged, and the health goes down. So even if it is a half full bl blueprint, the boar will get through. Now, if I go to the last one, I think we all know what's going to happen. The tank is going to get destroyed. Let's just verify my... Yep, suspicion. The tank is being destroyed. Perfect, perfect. That means our theory does, in fact, work. Now let's do this. Let's remove this. Let's put this in here. I'm going to do a, just a quick little artillery shot and see what happens. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to go a little lower than that. Alright, let's try this. Okay. So the artillery shot does destroy half-built uh, tanks, in this case, and empty tanks. So that answers that question. And now we'll get into my final thoughts. Okay, so we're back in the Clipsis lobby and I'm here to give my final thoughts. So I do think that it will help boars and when it comes to boar spamming, because there's you can't really place um, a reservoir in front of an enemy boar, so we'll just shoot straight through. So there really isn't that defense anymore, which really does suck. But I mean, there's also the case where the boar will get uh, the reservoir will get fully charged up and then be placed in front of it, w which will allow it to be placed spontaneously in the eyes of the boar. So then the boar will attack the, let's say, the reservoir. So I could see it working that way. So it could just not change and it would just delay the defense, which also could be a big make or break for a team. So you never know. Now, another thing I think that um, would cause. Uh, I think it would be cause a nerf to early game builders. So when people are trying to build an early game sprawl, they're very susceptible to enemy attacks, in this case, early game rushing. Now in a more skilled match, I think that what will happen is if an enemy is trying to rush, I mean the instinct would be to build you know, a turret or an arc turret and to defend the base. Now with only three pumps, that leaves you only about 45 iridium per second. Now, that can add up really quickly for turns and arc turns. Let's say you put two down arc turns at six rating per second. Let's say three, so one turn on, on each pump. That's 12 plus six, that's 18 iridium per What's second up, down. Guys? That is almost half of your total iridium uh, production. So that is definitely a concern. So I do think that early game uh, rushing is a buff against early game pacing. So that is a really big concern. Um, I think it will change into a lot more early game rushing. Now when it comes to the less skilled matches, I do not think there will be a change because um, often with the less skilled players, they do not understand how to properly um, early game rush. So they, they probably will have a buff in the concept that they will be rushing and the defender will have a harder job, but I think they'll be able to pull through a lot easy, a lot easier than, let's say, a skilled match. So that is my thought. I do think that Gates was really, you know, a waste of time. There wasn't really any purpose to that, but I mean, hey, I mean, it, it's a new feature, I guess, and it's nice to see that Gates no longer require power, because that was just a big inconvenience, that there was no really point in that. But I do not think it was necessary. So, there's that. Now one simple concern that I do have is that pipes and defenses are getting overly complicated with the second output pipe on the observer that allows iridium flow when spotting an enemy player. So that can help reduce this, but I do feel like that overly complicates it and will lead to a lot of confusion down the road in a game that is already very complex. So. I do think that it's a nice counter to help save Iridium, even though that I do feel like this is an extreme amount of Iridium loss. But these are my final thoughts, and thank you for listening.